It's a great pleasure to welcome to this episode of What's Next and to talk about the 2024 Cloud and Security Conference, Shamit Maharaj, the CEO of CypherWave. Shamit, always good to talk to you. How are you doing? Good day, Aki. I'm doing well. Great to see you again. Thank you for having me on the show. Could you please start off by unpacking the primary cloud services that CypherWave offers? Yes, Aki. So, Aki, we have a, a, pr a private cloud built on a Nutanix stack, uh, right? But, um, you know, we are a trusted partner to our customers. So, what we also focus heavily on um, at the moment is, um, you know, designing, uh, building, managing, and supporting private clouds, you know, for our customers. Now, one of the popular trends that we've uh, noted in the market currently is, you know, you know, a hybrid shift. So, it's a hybrid model, which is a... Um, combination of the shared cloud uh, or private cloud, as well as with the hyperscalers. Now, with the hyperscalers, this includes uh, Azure, AWS, Google, Huawei Cloud, just to name a few of the, um, you know, of the, uh, of the cloud platforms that, that we are connecting with. Um, from a customer perspective, you know, based on, a, based on their compute and store requirements, we are in a position to build very customized virtual environments for them. And uh, this also includes very robust backup solutions. And for the enterprise market, um, you know, we have also taken a uh, posture of presenting a disaster recovery as a service. And this adds great value, you know, in the, in the South African enterprise landscape. Now, these cloud services need high quality data center infrastructure to work efficiently. And you have chosen to partner with OADC. How did this decision come about, Shamith? Okay, you have to give credit where it's due, right? Um, so in 2022, there was a CypherWave uh, group uh, board decision taken um, to align with OEDC from a strategic perspective. Um, you know, when I joined the business a year ago, the commercial foundation was established uh, for us to build on. Now, there would have been, um, you know, a few, um, you know, just few decision items that needed to be considered, right? A few things to be considered from a technical, from a commercial perspective. And this would have also included the viability of, um, you know, of the partner, uh, the flexibility and scalability of the solutions that we have in our stack. Now, with OEDC, they have a global footprint. Now, it's, it, it enables CypherWeb as a business to scale in new geographies into new territories. Um, you know, with, with OEDC being powered by YOC, um, it gives us access to several undersea cable capacities across the African continent. And this is a key enabler because it allows us to have a cloud platform or a cloud network that's always on and always connected. Um, with the OADC facilities across South Africa and across Africa, you know, we have, we, we have noted that, you know, these facilities um, are cutting edge. They adhere to the global standards, um, not just from a uh, design perspective or an architecture perspective, but also from the cooling perspective, from a power uh, perspective. Um, you know, the security within the OEDC facilities are, you know, is world-class. Uh, we as the anchor tenant in, in the Asando uh, facility, we've got 24 by 7 access uh, or engineering access to our uh, software branded pods. Um, and, you know, in terms of, um, you know, customer access, this is very, very tightly controlled, tightly managed by the facility. And it allows our business to scale as well. So as OEDC scales in, 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 in new territories, you know, we have access to, to, to that, those feature sets and, and that functionality. We all know that cloud security is a critical part of this equation that you talk about. How does CypherWave and OADC work together to guarantee world-class security to your clients? Absolutely, Aki. Now, security encompasses several layers, right? So from an OADC perspective, uh, they are the you know facility uh, owners and, and 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 managers of the uh, the physical security. So you know having you know twenty four by seven monitoring, uh, very stringent access controls. That gives us peace of mind that you know the uh, cloud platforms that's that's, that's co located or housed in their facilities is very secure. Now, from a CypherWave perspective, we look at security uh, from a technical perspective across the seven layers of that OSI. And that, that encompasses from the physical layer um, all the way down to the application stack. Now, with you know, having wire in, in the equation as well, uh, you know, they are providing uh, protected connectivity links into all the facilities. And that ensures that you know, our, our cloud platform is not just secure, but they're always available and online for, for our customers. 
with four hyperscale Tier 3 facilities and over 30 edge data centers in major business and connectivity hubs, OADC boasts an extensive national data center network. What are the benefits of this for your clients, Shamith? Yeah, the benefits are extensive, right? So I'm going to touch on a few very key uh, you know, benefits for, for, for CypheWave as well as for our customers. Um, so firstly, you know, um, from a data backup perspective, you know, we've got different facilities that we can access, we can move our workloads to from a cloud platform perspective. Uh, for the end customer and for our customers, you know, the value is uh, having access to low latency parts, uh, you know, having connectivity to the closest pop that they can connect to. Um, and this gives them, you know, gives the customer the flexibility. So they don't need to travel, you know, the, the data doesn't, is not, is not, doesn't have to be accessed from a, from, a, from a location offshore or far away from them. And this enables future edge computing, you know, for CypheWave as well as our uh, customers in the South African market. Now, by building on top of this excellent infrastructure that you talk about, CypherWave can also offer fantastic power rates. In what other ways do CypherWave's cloud solutions stand out from the competition? Okay, I appreciate the term power rates, right? Since we're on that topic, um, you know, we will we'll unpack a bit of about, about the power, right? Now, as we are aware, um, you know, our country has experienced some challenges, you know, in the recent times in, in regards to uh, access to um, reliable, uh, sustainable electricity, as well as, you know, managing the, the increasing cost, you know, associated to it. Now, you know, if we just look at it from a costing perspective, um, in terms of the electricity and power, you know, what we've managed to, uh, to accomplish very successfully, you know, with our strategic partner, OADC, is that, you know, the facilities are very uh, power efficient, right? From the architecture to the design, um, to the rack layouts, to uh, to the, the equipment that we manage and support for our customers, uh, to the configurations we deploy. It's very energy efficient. So what the first benefit to our customers is, you know, we are providing them a very efficient, very cost-effective solution. Now, over and above, you know, having a cost-effective solution, what we've also, you know, looked at providing to the customer is not just an infrastructure as, as a service solution, but looking at providing a value back across into the application stack. So looking at the customer's you know, solution and looking at how do we better support their operating systems and how do we better support their application stacks that's uh, co-located with us. Now, uh, the, the, the last area that I just want to touch on uh, in terms of the benefits of the cloud is, you know, we have excellent, uh, you know, engineering uh, resources supporting these customers. And we can do this on a consumption basis. So we can allow our customers to scale their business on a consumption basis whilst we look at, uh, you know, managing the secure end-to-end managed service for them. Um, and that's, that's, that's added a lot of value to our existing customers and to the market in general. Now, CypherWave has always been known as an innovative, forward-thinking company. What cloud technologies and trends are you looking at for the future? Where, are, where do you see this, this industry going? And, and I guess you touched on how cloud has evolved over the last few years, but where is it all going, Shamit? Yeah, I can, you know, historically, we generally focused on infrastructure as a service. So it's good to have a starting point in terms of understanding where we've come from as a business, right? You know, as you are aware, uh, recently, we pivoted slightly as a business, and we had uh, a higher degree of focus uh, on software as a service. Now, you know, where we're going as a business and where we see the market going is more uh, X um, as a service. Now, you know, Ali, uh, Aki, I'm not um, referring to Elon Musk's social media platform here, but, um, you know, when I refer reference X as a service, I'm looking at everything as a service, right? So what does it mean for our customers? And the trend for, our, for the market and for our customers is how do we then wrap in, um, you know, the compute, the storage, the, uh, de- you know, data recovery, data backups, uh, disaster recovery, uh, operating system uh, support and management, as well as management of an application layer uh, that's 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 being co-located, you know, within our cloud environment. Now, you know, wrapping this as X as a service or everything as a service, that's probably going to be uh, where the market is is heading. And I think, you know, we as as a business, we want to be at the forefront of that and deliver this with excellence to um, to our customers. Now, I'm looking forward to your presentation. You're going to be presenting at this year's. My Broadband 2024 Cloud and Security Conference. Could you give us a little bit of a teaser about what you're going to be speaking about at the conference? 
Yes, actually, at, at the conference, we're hoping to cover, you know, a few key areas around, um, you know, cloud hosting, um, the co-location, um, as well as um, some of the future trends, right? Um, not just where CypherWave is going, but where we see the market going. Uh, a very key element that we'd be focusing on is business continuity. Now, you know, protecting our customers' data, protecting our customers' business is of paramount importance to us. And, I, and we believe that if we get this right, you know, we, we're driving the economy in the right direction. Aki, I look forward to seeing you at the uh, Cloud and Security Conference. And uh, thanks for having me on the show again. Thanks. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Shamith Maharaj, CEO of CypherWave. And we look forward to seeing you at this year's 2024 Cloud and Security Conference. The details are, on the, uh, are in the link below. So just click on that link below and register. And we really look forward to seeing you at this year's 2024 Cloud and Security Conference. We're going to have fantastic speakers and there is so much that's going to be unpacked and all the latest trends that you need to know about at the 2024 Cloud and Security Conference.